Welcome back, everybody. Jordan is heading back to school this morning, but he's not solving chemistry problems or composing a thesis. Of course he's not. <laughs> Instead, he's learning about navigating real life in a hands-on way. It's at the new Junior Achievement Center at Fox Valley Tech. Good morning, Jordan. Yeah, we're at the corner of the building now where we're learning about We Energies and uh, WPS, and inside here we have a kitchen. Uh, learning about savings tips. This is what some kids can... Uh, you know, get their hands on a little bit, you know, moving the thermostat, uh, saving some uh, money on bills at the end of the month. You know, guess what? Using a microwave uh, to heat up food is 80% more, uh, less energy than reheating it in the oven. That's what I learned today, guys. We have Brooke and uh, Jennifer standing by. Now, Brooke, tell me the students that actually come here. Um, age groups, uh, who can get involved? Sure, all students are welcome. We primarily focus on fourth grade up th all the way through high school. And there are students welcome from all over Northeast Wisconsin for all junior achievement programs. And it's, if there is a student that wants to come or a parent that wants their student to come, teachers and administrators reach out to us for more information. We organize it through the schools, but all students of Northeast Wisconsin are welcome to come to the center. It's really, really cool too. And just briefly, let's talk about some of the options here that the kids can learn from. Sure. They can learn about financial literacy with Community First Credit Union. They can learn about welding with Miller Electric Manufacturing. Logistics, hot term right now. Supply chain <laughs> management with Kimberly Clark. So there are so many options here. Trades with Bolt, and we have Myron Town Square. So we really brought our community together, and every community should have a YMCA, so JA Biz Down does too. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so we have Jennifer standing by now. So my question is, how does this get students ready to get to college? Because obviously you're hand in hand with FETC. Yeah, absolutely. So as Brooke stated, we've partnered with many businesses in our area. Um, there's a shortage of skilled workers in a lot of these industries, so it's awesome that we can get out and we can educate students on those career options because they don't know what they don't know. Mm -hmm. So um, if we can give them a better idea of options that exist for them, they can be a better consumer of their future education, and we can help them connect the dots between their passion education and that future dream exactly. job. And you guys provide the classwork and the classroom activities uh, at school here to actually get them to where they need to go, right? Absolutely, we do that. And we have content experts, our faculty are experts at um, helping us work with these businesses to set up relevant career exploration options for them to help enrich that process. All right, very cool. You guys, I've had so much fun here today and I know your kids will too. So two to six uh, tomorrow is when they can come down here, check it out, ask some questions and uh, give it a whirl. I'd highly suggest doing it. Start them young. they got to learn how to spend that allowance, right, exactly, Shelley? Exactly, that big allowance <laughs> you've been giving your kids. Thanks, Jordan. <laughs> we'll be right back.